Windows 7 multitasking. Oh, uh, multitasking on the Windows 7, they have gave you a lot of options to uh, multitask on, which I really think is really cool. We have three, three multitasking features that I know about, and they're pretty cool. So, um, here's you get to it. The first multitasking tool on Windows 7. And just before we start, you like the nice Fallout 3 background, if you're a Fallout 3 fan. Anyways, alright, back, back to the video. The first one is one I don't use that much, but you're going to want to click the Windows button on the bottom left, and you're going to want to click the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 number key above. Now that triggers your uh, open programs down here on your uh, toolbar. So I have internet open, I have MSN, I have Dell, I have the webcam open, and I have iTunes open. So let's open the internet. So I will be clicking Windows and 1. Okay, that will open YouTube. Now I click, you see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. iTunes is 6. I click Windows 6 and iTunes will come up. So that is the first feature. The second feature is this whole quick quick menu that comes up on the screen showing you all, all your programs. So you're going to want to click Alt on, always on the left side of the keyboard and Tab. This brings up this mini menu. You click Tab to scroll through what you have. You, your desktop, your I, my iTunes, webcam, this server settings, whatever that is, okay, and YouTube. And this one I just found that is really awesome. I use it a lot. Is um, kind of a scroll wheel of your programs. You're gonna want to click Windows and Tab. That brings up this awesome thing here. You can keep clicking Tab to see what it is, or you can hold it. One little uh, thing there, and you can use your mouse, your cursor, to click YouTube's all the way down there. You want to click that, it'll come up, or your desktop. So there you go. So all in all cool features. Yeah, that's it.